Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Talk channel on YouTube. I have an interesting problem to solve over here today. Tangent of x equal to cotangent of x. And the, all sorts of those problems that involve trig fun function, really what they're looking for is have you written into a, some sort of a quadratic formula, a quadratic equation here. So what I've done here is I basically expressed tangent and cotangent in there base function, which is sine and cosine. Okay, and then I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to have cosine x squared is equal to a sine square x. Okay, and then using the fact that 1 minus cosine square x is sine, I'm going to combine them. So I have twice of cosine square x equal to 1, or cosine square x equal to 1 and a half. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now, a lot of students out here just think that cosine x then equal to uh, radical 2 over 2, which is really uh, radical of 1 half. Okay, this is radical 1, radical 2. Rationalize it. That's radical 2 over 2. Okay, but the truth is there's another half. Okay, there's also half for cosine of x is equal to minus radical 2 over 2 as well, because when you take the square roots, you have plus minus. Okay, once you get over here, I would say 50% of the work is done. Okay, how to find the x specifically, you have two methods. Okay, I'm just going to show two errors over here. Let's do the first method. That's uh, not method that is not one that's better than the other one. Def just depend on which one you feel comfortable with. What I have here is I drew the cosine curve in a 0 to 2 pi. And since I'm looking for radical 2 over 2, which is about 0.7, I'm going to draw a line here. Then here's my two angles. Okay, so theta 1, or actually x1, x1 is equal to, uh, this is pi over 4, radical 2 over 2 is pi over 4. And the other one, x2, is 2 pi away from pi over 4. Okay, so you have a pi over 4, or x2 is equal to, let's circle this one, pi over 4, and the other one is 7 pi over 4. Okay, and then because the uh, sine and cosine, all the functions that repeats itself, unless they ask you specifically that's in first 0 to 2 pi period, you need to write down the re repetition here, so plus 2 n pi. And the next 2 is equal to 2 n pi as well, n is equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3, so on and so forth. Okay. Second method here, solving exactly the same thing, is you can use the unit circle. I'm running out of room here a little bit. The unit circle here, I'm looking for radical 2 over 2. So since it's x and a cosine, there's two, var two angles as well. Here is a 45 degrees. Okay. The other one is go around a circle and ends over here. That's the 7 pi over 4. And you are actually just pi over 4 away from 2 pi. Okay, so you will get exactly the same answer. Let's uh, finish this one. So on this side, I have, let's draw this one out. Here I'm just going to use the one method a, since this one I already gone over. All right, so minus radical 2 over 2. I have this one and I have this one. Okay, so obviously this is pi over 2. So my x is equal to pi over 2 uh, plus pi over 4. Okay, this one is pi plus pi over 4. Okay, so I have two x's as well. x1 uh, here is equal to, let's see, 4. So 3 pi over 4 plus 2n pi and equal to 0, 1, Two, so on and so forth. And then x2 over here is um, pi over 4, 4. So it's 5 pi over 4 plus 2 n pi. And equal to 0, and so on and so forth. So 1, 2. All right. So uh, review wise, when you have a equation, a trig equation, get it into the basic form of sine and cosine. Be careful when you take radical roots because there are plus and minus. And also, once you get to the basic equation finding for the x, I, I guess I, I personally prefer a, a curve where you can see the angles more 
readily. But if this unit circle make more sense, by all means use the unit circle. And make sure you have the 2 and pi added on there if they didn't ask you specifically from 0 to pi. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.